this is the Colour Monkey display. I've cut out the boring bit where you're basically uh, downloading the software or what have you. And to get started, you have to install the software onto the computer, which is really a very simple process. And then you get that little message that at the end of the install process, you'll need to restart the computer. Okay, so we've just installed the software. Now to make it easier to find, we'll just take that one and drag it down to the dock, any way you like there, basically. And then we can put that one away. Now, before you run the software, it's a good idea to plug this uh, one in so that the software recognizes the device. If you do it afterwards, you can have a few problems. So that's plugged in, leave that for a few seconds. And then you simply start it by clicking there. So when this is first installed, it will ask you to register the software, but we can skip past that for the moment. You've got 30 days to do that. Now, you've got the two options here. The first is to profile your display, and the second is to profile your projector. If you click on Profile My Display, it's then dis um, it then gives you the option of which display you want to calibrate. And we're going to choose this BenQ display. You would then click Next to go to the next phase. Now, once we're in this part, you've got the two modes. You've got the Easy mode, which basically just clicks straight through, or you've got the Advanced mode. Now, even if you're a beginner, the advanced mode is not difficult, and I would recommend using this because it's got some just some useful extra options. So in advanced mode here, we're going to stick with the, the uh, recommended setting of D65. That basically sets the color temperature. Then we're going to stick with this recommended default of 120 CDM, which is a default setting, and that'll work fine. You click on Next we're going to untick this option to optimize my display based on my ambient light conditions. Really, you want to have your room set up properly so that you don't need to do that. And if you've got your room set up properly so you don't have strong light coming in from windows and everything, you don't even need the flare correct option. So you could click next, then you would, you would place your, dis, um, your calibrator over the display. Now you can see the counterweight here is not very far away from the calibrator. So I'm going to move that up a little bit further so that'll sit behind the display. A good little power tip here is to tilt the display back so that the calibrator sits neatly on the surface without dangling about. And you can just put that behind the back there and get that to sit nicely there and it's all in place. It shows you exactly where it should be. You click the next button. It gives us a little warning telling us to ensure that it's completely correct against the screen. You can tick the little option so that that doesn't show up again in future if you want. Just press OK. And so everything's seated nicely in place. And you just press the next button. You can click that one, that's just a little warning to make sure that it's sat properly in place and that will run through the process automatically on its own. Okay, so at the end of the calibration process, basically what we've done is we've created a profile and the profile makes up for any small discrepancies or any deficiencies in the display itself so that you're going to get really perfect color. You can actually do away with the calibrator at this point. You don't need that anymore. And you've simply got to save the name of your profile. I recommend that you save a name that's meaningful, something with the date, the name of your display, that sort of thing. So in this case, you can see it says it's the BenQ display. It's at D65 temperature and it's giving you the date. You could press the save here, and that will automatically save your profile ready to be used the next time you're using your monitor. So we've created the profile now, and then your final step is that basically you save it. We can see here the profile is complete. We've got our name. We've got a little reminder here that can remi remind you in a week or a month, or you can switch off entirely. 
generally speaking, I would recommend about four weeks or a month. That's quite adequate for most people. And then you simply press next and you can actually click here. You can see a before. You see how the colors change on the screen, not just here, but also on the general screen and after. And you can see everything suddenly become much more neutral. You can try that with a different image if you prefer. For example, there you go. You've got before and then after. And once that's done, the profile is applied automatically.